tangent alpha be negative 4 over 3 where alpha is bigger than 90 less than 180 that means alpha lies in second quadrant and cosine beta is 5 over 13 where beta is in first quadrant find the exact value of so we have several sine cosine functions and if we look at the formula list sine 2 alpha is there is a formula for double angle that is 2 sine alpha times cosine alpha so we need to find the value of sine alpha these are times cosine alpha and multiply so from tangent alpha tangent is opposite over adjacent so we need to draw a triangle and we can find the third side I mean two sides are here and then we can find any trig function and same thing here so second quadrant alpha so here is the origin x-axis so you just draw anywhere it doesn't have to be exact so this is alpha and drop a perpendicular on x-axis always on x-axis so this is adjacent x which is negative okay because we are moving to the left and y positive opposite and hypotenuse this r is always positive and tangent we know tangent alpha that is opposite over adjacent which is given negative four thirds this negative can be regarded for the top or the bottom depending on our need in this case x is negative so negative four thirds i want to put negative three four four over negative three okay so this is four and this is negative three now r is missing we can find using pythagorean identity x square plus y square equals r square pythagorean theorem x square plus y square equals r square x is negative 3 square 9 y is 4 square 16 so that is 25 take a square root so r is 5 and this is always positive it's plus minus 5 but r is always positive so positive 5 so we are done with this triangle let's do the same thing here so this is in the first quadrant bigger than 0 less than pi over 2 so it's everything positive draw a triangle with angle beta drop a perpendicular on the x-axis adjacent opposite hypotenuse and cosine is what is cosine that is x over r so this one x over r okay adjacent over hypotenuse so x is 5 and r is 13 missing y so pythagorean theorem x square plus y square equals r square that's 5 square 25 plus y square r is 13 square 169 subtract 25 from both sides 144 take a square root of both sides plus minus 2 bell but this is first quadrant everything is positive and this one is again going up so it's positive 2 bell okay now we have all three sides for both triangles let's work here sine 2 alpha from formula we know that is 2 sine alpha cosine alpha so alpha means we are looking at first triangle 2 times sine alpha sine is y over r so 4 over 5 cosine alpha that is x over r so negative 3 over 5 okay this 2 means 2 over 1 so 2 on the top so there is a negative sign so negative 5 5 25 on the bottom 2 times 4 8 3 24 so negative 24 over 25 okay negative on the top which is same as on the front cosine 2 beta look at the formula list you will see three formulas for cosine double angle you can choose any the first one cosine is square what is the angle the angle is beta here the formula might have theta or alpha but the angle is beta in this question so cosine is square of that angle minus 
sine is square over angle oh not alpha is beta in our question so cosine beta so we need to use second triangle for beta angle x over r so 5 over 13 square minus sine beta sine is y over r 12 over 13 is square okay let's do it 5 is square 25 over 13 is square 169 144 over 169 or 169 is the common denominator what is 24 minus 144 9 1 1 negative but we can put negative in the front so negative 119 over 169 uh, there are no common factors you need to simplify if there are okay then sine alpha minus beta difference of two angles look at the formula list and you will see sine alpha minus beta first angle minus second angle is sine alpha cosine beta minus minus cosine alpha now cosine alpha sine beta okay sine alpha look at the value of sine alpha that's the first triangle 4 over 5 so this is 4 over 5 cosine beta that's from the second triangle I mean we have used here right cosine beta is 5 over 13 cosine alpha x over r so negative 3 over 5 oh negative negative positive times sine beta look at the triangle we are used here sine beta is 12 over 13 okay that is we multiply 20 over 65 minus negative plus 36 over 65 so 65 is the common denominator add this one 6 5 56 okay uh, looks like there are no common factors so this is it 56 over 65 now half angle this is half angle formula so there are, if you look at the formula is cosine theta over 2 or cosine alpha over 2 that's plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine of that angle not half anymore all over 2 and we need to correctly choose whether it's plus or minus okay cosine of beta over 2 we need to figure out the value of uh, beta over 2 and cosine beta over 2 depending on the correct quadrant which is plus or minus so what is beta so beta is in first quadrant here now we are having I mean we are taking the half of beta okay so you can think of beta being like 50 degrees and what is half of 50 that's 25 it's still in first quadrant and in first quadrant all three functions are positive so beta over 2 is in first quadrant and everything but plus so we write plus only square root of and don't have to write anymore 1 plus cosine beta now we have cosine beta uh, x over r 5 13 all over 2 now we add this on the top and divide by 2 and we have the answer 1 plus 5 over 13 you multiply 13 over 13 so that is 13 plus 5 18 over 13 so on the top 18 over 13 all over 2 okay let's simplify this further square root of keep the top 18 over 13 divide and now 2 means 2 over 1 you flip 1 over 2 2 goes 18 9 times right 2 goes at 9 times so square root of 9 over 13 and by the way square root of 9 is 3 so we can write 3 on the top 3 over root 13 
uh, you, mu you might have to rationalize this if the question asks, but for us, no. So this is it.